me that she has an opinion. It's okay. Let's look at some of the Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Let's go. How's it? English. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The champ. Hello, today. Yeah, maybe team looks broken. This is Mongoose Max. <laughs> All right, today is Friday. It's chore day. Once again, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm doing it. I can't stop doing it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And whatever, I'm doing a little bit of vlog and then a little bit of news to see what kind of like, to see what news is like in Hawaii. <laughs> and I just go all over the place. So anyways. So yeah, there's not much to, I'm, I, I got lots of appointments coming up. So maybe that's why I'm doing this. It's going to be spotty later and whatever. Here it goes. In the news, uh, about 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers have basically surrendered and they're in the hands of the Russians basically as a prisoner, giant group of prisoner of war. And at the same time, one of the Russian soldiers is being tried for war crime. You think they would do the give us our prisoners swap kind of deal i don't know but i think the last thing the russians said about their man soldier <laughs> boy soldier it, it, man soldier being tried yeah he does look young actually thinking about it but the last thing they said about him i believe was let them have him as if to say they just wrote him off right there i don't care what you do with that guy oh jeez i don't know so but you know what? Enough of the big news. Let's look at the local news. In matter of fact, let's check out some letters to the editor. Let's use this time to be a little focus on that is to the editor, yeah? So, in the news... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. I had to turn off all my little extra things. I left the little plane in there. Coast Guard plane went by, so I just left that in there. So I, uh, public school. So somebody chose a superintendent for the school system, eh? Jimmy Cracker, and I don't care. <laughs> I despise the education system at the moment, but that's just me. Our homeless shelters, our spaces are decreasing because there is less homeless. They counted less homeless outside and more homeless in the shelters and so they all went inside because it was like oh it's rainy out here oh yeah and oh so in case you wondered whatever happened to the volleyball players well here they are <laughs> there's all this thing on the coach the coach this the coach that the coach is all the focus on the coach and here's the coach getting the key to the city and all this and then there was another article with the picture of the coach going oh we need to have more and it was about television time since they cut away from the volleyball to other programming they had this big article and had the picture of the coach on there now they have a picture of the volleyball guys playing volleyball on the beach here's that's probably maybe why they got the kind of the expression oh my god we hit the ball okay enough already when we go like this oh i had to go here anyways because i go like this oh you know what oh let's go this way oh Oh man, I just gotta get it. Just gotta gotta cool down once in a while, relax. Remember back in the day when everything was fine? Oh look, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise said he and Prince William have a lot in common. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know what Prince William said, but Tom Cruise said, speaking about the prince, he told reporters, "We have a lot in common. We both love England. <laughs> we both." <laughs> We both are aviators, we both like flying. He found a lot. Hey, you fly a plane too? Me fly a plane too. I'm in a Top Gun movie again. Oh god. Okay. If Prince Cruise, right? 
Okay, here we go. 1977, when everything was fine. Check this out, man. When you want some coffee, some espresso, all you do, uh, just a minute, I'll be your concoctador, uh, your, your special potion maker. Just gotta warm up the system, just a second. It's from the 1700s. Come on, little mice, he running the thing. Run, 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 run. Make him fast. Make it hot now. It's okay. It's made out of brass. It's got an eagle on top. Coffee at Harry's Bar in the corner of Great Hall in Waikiki made with a brass espresso machine. Wow. We got it. Let's go back. One, two, three. Here we go. Political cartoon. Ah. I'm just gonna go this way. Makes a good vampire. Nosferatu. Oh no. Neto. Ah. I cannot stake it. It's too holy for me. You know, there's like too much power for the other nation. Oh my god. Yeah, he doesn't like NATO. Don't join NATO or else we'll invade you. Oh gosh, it, it all hinges on that guy. He's a kook and, and we don't know why he's kooking out. Let's look at Let Us to the Editor because we want to see what people think, yeah? Hey, people in Hawaii already. Don't overlook. Dangerous rhetoric. <laughs> they rewrote the thing. Oh, here's one. Something more local, eh? Oh. A, B, and B should keep Polly Lane's bowling the 61st anniversary of the Polly Lane's bowling alley would have been today, May 20th. Polly Lane's shut down on June 30th. <laughs> nearly one year ago. But what's happening to the property? On August 9th, 2019, Alexander and Baldwin a landowners said publicly that it wants to preserve Polly Lanes and the bowling in Kailua. But this is what really happening. But what is really? This, but is this what really happening? <laughs> the property has sat vacant since June 30th. There have been no new updates from A and B as to what will happen in the Polly Lanes, despite many local asking. As founder and former president of Team Hashtag Save Polly Lanes, I know as president of Team President of Team Hashtag Save Polly Lanes. Okay, I know how important Polly Lanes was to the community. Now we, the community, deserve answers from A and B as to what will happen to Polly Lanes. <sighs> but <laughs> just, just a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> Personally, I would like to see A and B stay true to its own words and keep both Polly Lanes and bowling in Kailua. That's right. I like bowling. I'm part of the Polly Lanes Lions team club hashtag. Hashtag I like bowling. Alright. Focus on developing new sources of water. This is from the Red Hill. Recently, the State of Department of Health illustrated that fuel contamination at Red Hill is spreading. Hmm, a site article May 14th. They released a new information release. At this juncture, soon a major portion of the aquifer can be fuel contaminated. The Honolulu Board of Water Supply, BWS, is bracing for this looming deplorable event. Before it is too late, now's the time to search for new sources of portable water. State and city leaders and our congressional delegation should all work together, as, as opposed to not working together, and fund this emergency project 100%, as opposed to 10%. Now, this should be Hawaii's number one project. The WS should not, that's the water supply you see, and I don't, just, I don't, don't forget that, should not be the only one working this issue. This is a long range project. Ultimately, the Navy should bear full responsibility for this fiasco. Without sufficient potable water, the visitor industry may see a restriction placed on the number of visitors who can visit the state. Why is life Donald Ow? Salt Lake. Okay, yeah, thanks you for your um, opinion and, and, and input there, but um, look, brah, tell you what, you're supposed to, we're supposed to all get together, some commission, delegation, and 
find a new source of potable water like like what the ocean <laughs> this so salt water the aquifer is all the fresh water all the fresh water all the rain water all that flood rain water goes down and it's like fresh fresh it's artesian well it's the water it's water system it's the water supply oh you know what go find another source of potable water all right <laughs> okay, one more time yeah. Hey, make the best for rail terminus at Kakaako. The Kakaako rail, ter Kakaako rail terminus is not the civic center, but it's best that we can afford. Mm. It's just like the Nasdaq Star Letters site article May 16th. It is next to Prince Jono Kahikona. Kona. <laughs> Prince Jono Kohio Kalaniane Ole Federal Building. And the state circuit court building. It is easy walk to actual civic center, the rapidly redeveloping Kakako district. Tourists were unlikely to use the train, even if it ran from Ala Moana. But why worry about that? We did not spend all the rail money for the sake of tourists. It's simple. You can build the rail line with wishes, hopes, and regrets, or you cannot build it. <laughs> With wishes, hopes, and regrets, we ran out of money to carry out the original plan. So, if you can't afford caviar, make the best with your poke. James Duca, Kalua, Tutu, 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 tutu hey Tutu. Oh yeah, poke, yeah, the chop up, chop up. Uh, hey, poke is good. You can have ahi poke with the, you know, raw fish, and you can have uh, uh, taco poke with the uh, octopus. But if you can't afford your caviar, but if you can afford the caviar, you don't want your pokey. But you gotta stick with the pokey, yeah? Because you know why? Because you cannot afford to make the go thing all the way on Moana. No one's gonna ride it anyways. What, the tourists? Suffer the tourists anyways. <laughs> Just to walk to the Civic Center. Anyways, okay. <clears throat> yes, it all sounds better when you put phony accents. So, that's all for today. It's Friday, so have a happy Friday. Over here, it's hot and sticky, and there's no trade winds whatsoever. So it's... <laughs> Anyways, have a happy, happy day. Aloha, fresh aloha to you. My piece should stick to you, eh? See the little hole? See the little hole in the cloud somewhere? The, the hole, that's where the sun was, right there. There's no more. It's kind of somewhere. I don't know, fresh aloha to you. Bye now, go away, it's bye now. I said, go okay, bye, I said, go off.